Welcome to the Daft Hour with me, the artist formerly known as, and we, well, we, I am joined today by, well, let's go with, was it Godzuki Reference? Uh, Godzuki Captain, Reference. Yeah, Captain Laserbeam the third, Laserbeam the Dalton Fox, Dalton Mr. Good. Ribbons, uh, M- Mew Mew. Mew Mew. Do you know, it's, just, it's quite strange, though, the fact that I, I, I did spend a lot of my time with, with you lot refusing to give myself... A silly name. A silly name. And that's like, that's all you've got now, isn't it? And that's all that. Well, well, because I can't remember there was six, obviously Bamba Rashid, uh, Morgan Fantastic. Uh, was it Human Window? <laughs> Who knows? Um, <laughs> he, it was Human Window. That's one of. Uh, it was obviously Elvis Herod. And uh, I was like, I'm not going to do it. And when I obviously appeared on your on the um, radio show, it's kind of give me. Um, you were trying to they pin down some sort of daft name for me. I was going, I know that it's, it's Matty Pollard. I'm going to stay Matty Pollard. And and then I made a joke about Godzuki and uh, I was quite, <laughs> proud of the, quite proud of the joke. Of the Godzuki so I reference. I decided yeah. to give myself the name Godzuki reference. Then Luke said uh, that I should be called Captain Laserbeam the third. Then it kind of went to... Captain Lesby in the third. No, Godzuki reference Captain Lesby oh, in the third. Oh, have I broke that name down? It, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it, 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 yeah. That's it's. Funny. My apologies. Sorry. Uh, welcome to the Daft Hour with me, uh, the artist formerly known as. We are joined. Say me. Are joined by Godzuki reference Captain Laserbeam the third, the third or yeah. AKA Dalton Fox, AKA Mr. Ribbons, AKA Mew Mew, AKA MC Scatmat, <laughs> AKA the blonde one, AKA the man who introduced me to Campbell's meatballs just moments after I got shot at with an air rifle. Yeah. Welcome to the Daft Hour. <laughs> I'm, 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 there's, a, there's a lot. There's a lot in there. What, what, what do you want to be known as for this show then? <laughs> um, um, I, I think I'll probably just uh, be, just be known as Matty. All right, Matty. This. Okay, I won't but need I, to make a note you, of that. You can pepper them in. No, no. Whenever you want. You Matty, it is. I went to all that effort you, you remembering all of your names. See, see, see Mew Mew is um, an old. Uh, when 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 I when I was a kid, uh, I was there was a lot. I was born with a lot of people that were born in the same. Uh, that that didn't sound right. <laughs> in a hospital, you were born in a hospital <laughs> with a lot of people. No, so basically, there's about six of us who were cousins that were born at the same time. So so uh, Ricky, Debbie, blah blah blah, me, blah 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 blah. It was, it, apparently it was one hell of a party. I was going to say it was a randy time at the uh, <laughs> yeah. the old household. Because so. we were all quite young, sort of. One of the kids couldn't say. I think it was probably one of my cousins couldn't say Matthew, and he said Mew Mew. Ah, and it stuck. No one really bothers with it apart from the family and apart from my brother, um, and then MC Scatmat. Can you remember when we were, we were kids and we grew up in like Tarry and Norton and stuff? There was, uh, there must have been a, someone who used to put MC Spuggy. Yes. MC Spuggy. I remember MC that. Spuggy yeah, yeah. Everywhere. And I kind of, and, and, and I. <laughs> you you were jealous also, of such a tag. <laughs> yeah, I was jealous. <laughs> um, at the same, also at the same time, um, Daffy Duck had, re- had released a single or some sort of single. And on the uh, artwork, it had him sort of like doing the sort of like peace sign and also graffiti. Wow. And I really liked that. But um, so I changed the duck into a fox. Oh, okay. So I, used to, I used to draw the fox, uh, like basically him with MC Scat Mat. And I can remember that it was, it was about a month of me <laughs> using it. But for some reason, it kept I kept on seeing it. In other places. Well, so someone stole so, your tag. 
so someone was like yeah it was actually putting mc scatmat everywhere and also you have to remember that uh it was tagged on a very important place with uh another tag of a what, certain persons what tag was that was that 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 really wanky r i did within a circle <laughs> i thought i was, was dead proud yeah. of it. it was just this kind of r but where the first straight line it was just kind of a curl wasn't it yeah. and i thought it was well cool it wasn't it was well shit wasn't it <laughs> yeah but can, can you remember because obviously we had a, a one like like we we chipped in for one kind of spray <laughs> kind of spray paint <laughs> Where can we go? I know, like, Princess Diana Bridge, where's no one going to see? Um, <laughs> so I put MC Scatamat, you put that. But can you remember, remember what I did before <laughs> I actually um, tagged? No. <laughs> well, well, when I pressed it, the nozzle was actually facing oh, me, wasn't it? Good move. So, but the thing is, so it ended up with me having two tiny little black marks <laughs> on my face because obviously it's brilliant. I, 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 Ricky was there with us. He was. Um, was Ricky. Yes, I think. Was he, that... In fact, he was the one who gave me the uh, the, the name Scat Matt. He he didn't actually call me MC Scat Matt. He was just called me Scatty Matty. Oh well, that's a yeah. I remember. I remember the that incident. Um, I yeah, but that graffiti that I was so proud of at that point was yeah it was lame wasn't it mm. i think we should go back and redo it though Update. oh definitely because I've, I've, I've been back and it's been sort of painted over how dare they well to be honest ricky my cousin ricky has a very strange uh nickname in the family okay what's and, that and it, it's called snobby <laughs> okay um it's one of the ones where obviously you've seen Pete, Greg Davis and stuff like do the um, um, stand up about uh, nicknames. I think oh, it's yes, fun, yeah, it's yeah. fantastic and it's quite true. But basically, um, Ricky Tiki Tabby because his name's Ricky, Ricky Tiki Tabby is in uh, a character in Jungle Book. You've never seen that in the Disney film, but in, no. the, in the Jungle Book, it was Ricky Tiki Tabby. So he went from Ricky Tiki Tabby to Tabby to Snobby. <laughs> but but it, it's amazing. I love. I, I, I one of my favorite things in the world is listening to my um, my um, Auntie Linda, uh, cousin Laura, and and Ricky talk. They have their own weird sort of language. With oh, each other. so you also have that language. I've I've quite often had to translate for you guys. Yeah. And you all all have this thing of where you know in your head what you're talking about and give us the back end of the conversation out aloud. So you've got this assumption that we all have a clue what you actually mean and you carry on the conversation that you've had half of in your head. You all do that. Yeah, it's, but that, yeah. But yeah. I understand it now. That's the thing. They, 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 yeah, but that, 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 that's like uh, just the, the way... This, this, with, with them, with uh, my cousins and, and, and my auntie, it's it's actually a, a proper weird sort of uh, language like Vanjaji. Okay. Is is, is vinegar? Vanjaji. That's like, vinegar. Oh, good. Some Vanjaji. Uh, it's something Vanjaji. Did they all have a, a, a big group stroke at some point and just lose the ability to speak? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I have to tell. Now you've mentioned stroke. I have to. Tell oh, you. Hilarious story. <laughs> well, it is funny. When, when obviously my mum had a stroke, um, so I went to visit an hospital and um, that's when um, my mum's boyfriend, uh, Laurie, was still alive. And uh, I came in and, and if you've ever been to a stroke ward, it's, it, it's, it, it's absolutely horrible. But also there's, there's, there's obviously varying degrees of, of, of how uh, people are affected by stroke. So I walked in and my mum's on the bed and she's she's quite uh, compass mentis, you know what I mean? She's talking and stuff like that. And anyway, I walked in and I start crying. I just burst into tears. My dad's there. He starts crying. Uh, Laurie, mum's boyfriend, starts crying. He walks out because he can't take the thing. Nikki, my wife, who's with me at the time, starts crying. 
and my brother's there and he asks if my mum had finished her tuna sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So we're on in tears and he's going, are you going to eat that sandwich, mum? <laughs> and then uh, later on he had a heart attack, so <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you wonder why. Yeah. Oh, dear. It's, story because he's, he, it's not because of tuna, is it? <laughs> no, no. So when you said uh, you went into a stroke ward, I was like, that is a really creative name for a brothel, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the stroke ward i reckon that'll that'll be somewhere in middle europe yeah. have, have you ever watched those um um videos where people are getting um uh, getting waxed okay down there oh no and and they can't control themselves oh no 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 really and, uh, that's the thing I, for people is it or is it just no, being touched? No, well, there's a thing for, there's a thing for everyone. <laughs> yeah. If you yeah. kind of go, oh, I want to see uh, women chucking welly boots. <laughs> <laughs> if right. you get welly boot porn. Do you reckon? Yeah, I've tried. It, honestly, there's nothing that I've not seen. It's, it is a, I mean, it, it's something that, yeah, it's something that they say, isn't it? If, you, if there, something exists, there is a porn of it. There's a porn <laughs> version. Well, that's good. I think it's 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 nice. It's a nice. Thing. <laughs> Apart from obviously, you know, there are some bad. There, there's porn. some there, there's some of things on the internet regarding uh, uh, porn that yeah. It, it what about supermarket bad. sweep? Did they ever make a porn of that? Of course they did. Um, <laughs> it's in Winton. Yeah. Okay. What about yeah? No, everything I'm thinking of is obviously going to be something, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Mm. I'll do some research. Um, so we're not joined by Morgan. Um, we're not, are we? No, he's not here. Um, and this is this is quite a thing because um, for the last how long have we been doing the uh, podcast now? Well, we've been doing it for far too long, but this is only episode eleven. Ah, <laughs> uh, because it's, because nearly every week he um, asks me if I'm going to be available. Yes, and obviously, unfortunately, uh, the way that I. Uh, uh, Avoiders. Work. Oh, work, to be so. honest, at seven o'clock, I can get this. I'm, I can, you know, be here at seven o'clock every night. He's never told me this, which makes me feel a bit sad. <laughs> oh, that we do it at late. The, the late thing is is more of a me option um, because I want it to be. <laughs> yeah, but okay. So we we you you are available at, at later times. Yeah. That's all right. Okay, but I, Morgan isn't here, and I'll, I'll, I'm going to tell you tell you why. Uh, oh, no. He's training as a as a cage fighter. Is he? Yeah, yeah, and he's he's cleaning all the national speed limit signs, just the national speed limit ones, not the fifties, not the seventies, oh, not the sixties, not the thirties, not the twenties, not the tens, not the fives. Mm. Uh, he's collecting cow dung to make new fuel for his uh, spaceship. He's he remixing really? all of the Madonna songs with all of the ABBA songs, and he's calling himself Amanda Nabob. Uh, oh, he's yeah. trying his hardest to bring back the popular 90s boiled sweets surrounded by plastic and made to look like a lipstick. Remember the, the push mm -hmm. pop? He's challenging... Don't e yep, <laughs> don't push me, push me, push pop. He's challenging Elon Musk to a game of slaps. He's French now. He's measuring worms. <laughs> <laughs> He's rehearsing his one-man show about a bin man who shits gold bricks. He's analysing the data. He's getting the power of Grayskull. And he's very misunderstood. That's what I think <clears throat> Morgan's up to. See, you know when you talked about sort of like before this when we were having a little chat? Yeah. And we are going to sort of like things that you should do. I didn't realise that you were going to come up with so many good ones. Okay. Not that and like I've done like three. Oh, well, I've just asked him what he's doing, and this is what he's doing. You see, <laughs> oh well, it's a lie. It's just what I suspect he's doing. Yeah. So, so for me, I, I thought that that, that that Phil would be uh, creating the new COVID because <laughs> yeah. Uh, I also thought that it'd be cockfighting, <laughs> but yeah. but not actually um, watching um, um, cocks fight. Actually, fighting people with his cock. Yeah, yeah, it's a uh, it's a monster. He swings yeah, it then, around and, like a saber. And then the actual one would be a pantomime. Oh, but not actually appearing in a pantomime. He's just 
walking around miming that he's panting. Oh, he's good at it, though. Yeah, like, he's good. To be fair, I've, I've seen him. I, I once followed him for three days uh, as he walked across the desert miming a, uh, a very good pant. There was no one there to watch, <laughs> just me from a distance with my um, fake binoculars. You know, the problem is not many people can see it now because, obviously, the mask... Yes, uh, man, it's been brought in. You can't watch someone pant with a max. A no, mask. it's very disappointing. So, yeah, that that's going to be really disappointing for perverts, panting perverts on the the <laughs> pavement. The phone. No, I suppose you could still you, you could still hear it, like you know. Yeah, but it's muffled, <sighs> isn't it? What are you wearing? A mask. <laughs> Bye. Thank Bye. you. Me too. Um, <laughs> maybe, maybe these these perverts are actually doing some sort of uh, just general government work with <laughs> a mask surveys. They're yes. just Thank survey doers. Much. Yeah, <laughs> you've yeah. done it. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Next next caller, please. Yeah. Mm. The, the the doing the work for the government. Good lads. Well, <sighs> that's all of the things that we believe Morgan uh, has and is up to. Um, in reality, to be honest, to be, to be honest. Um, what I think Morgan is doing is sitting <laughs> on his bed, yeah, drinking blackberry cider, yeah, watching Squidge Game. Ah, Squidge Game. So I think he, I think you got it right. I think he's on his bed drinking blackberry cider, uh, but oh. watching the um, German dubbed version of Sesame Street. Um, <laughs> That's what I think he's actually doing. I don't. I, <clears throat> I haven't actually watched Squid Game. No, I haven't. Have you seen it? No. <coughs> but I've seen a million and one um, memes about it. Well, I, well, I, uh, I work. I, I work in a in a shop, obviously that sells certain things. We 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 got the Squid Game masks. Okay. A week before Halloween. Yeah. And we had to have, we had to basically, we ordered some, the next day we had to order them, and the next day, and the next day, and it, it was just impossible to keep all, they were flying out. Wow. Every kid wanted to be, like, and, and, and <laughs> what I did enjoy is, the kids walking in and going, Squid Game, and the mum going to us, he's not watched it. He's not watched it. <laughs> I'll never allow him to watch Squid Game. Yeah. <laughs> he's watched it. He's watched it. <laughs> he's he's watched played it. Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> and he's got the internet, so he's found a skin flick. <laughs> it was just... I, we've still got some left, as well as the... Um, what masks did we get? You know, the... Um, well, it depends what you sort of... What you know about this mask. You know, the... Um, so me and you would probably know this mask from V for Vendetta. Oh yes, yep. So the V for Vendetta mask is the obviously it's the um, Guy Fawkes mask. It is. Now obviously um, Anonymous took it. Now TikTok have taken it right. over, and also you know people who um, go on marches about uh, climate change and stuff yep. like that where. Because what I think is amazing is the fact that there's nothing says climate change like, like loads of plastic <laughs> shit made yep. in China. Yeah, absolutely. Um, plastic shit made in China, shipped over here, burning more fuel to put on our masks to say, ah, stop the climate change. Yeah, yeah. no, no, it's, it's a good job, guys. Unless they recycle have, have... them into beds for mice. <laughs> have you seen one? A bed for mice. Yeah. Uh, yeah, bunk bed for mice. So I've, I, I stack the masks uh, to because mice don't like to be alone, but they also don't like to touch other mice, so they bunk up instead. Yeah, but this is going to be crazy because if you've got one mask there and there's a little mouse on it, and yeah. then you've got the bunk bed and then you've got the other mask there. Yeah, yeah. The, the mask, the, the mouse on the bottom is yeah. just going to be staring at the mask. At the mask. That's a good point. But we sell we sell ones that light up as well. <laughs> Brilliant! So it's like a nightlight for the little mouse. Oh, but then they might not be able to sleep. I'm gonna have to rethink this, Anna. Yeah, and but then again, he might just like kind of like use it as fuel 
Yeah. So then go and, go and protest about <laughs> cheese. Yeah, the the lack of cheese nowadays is yeah. disgraceful. So I think there's, no, the, there's not enough cheese on TV. The, no, I, do you know what? That is in my notes. I was going to bring that up as something to talk about. <laughs> that there is, it's just such an underrepresented uh, food. Um, it's not only just a normal food; it is a food that can improve other foods. Yeah. Uh, and there's just not enough programs dedicated to cheese. Are you Are you all right with cheese now? Because I'm not. I've got. I've hit that forty-two. Oh, they're getting properly. old and not being able to digest it properly, and yeah, not having a good sleep. The day and shat myself. Oh, I've not. I'm not like that. I just. Um, I can't eat anything. <laughs> That's just, the, just the getting older thing. Um, <laughs> no, I've, I've still not had the shit myself moment. Yeah. Well, there's things that people used to say to me, like you know, when you hit thirty, and like your bones start to ache, and it's quite true. Like. When I was like nineteen, I'd I'd get out of bed and like double somersault into my pants. I was all yeah, I was. It's true. I was there. I used to hold the pants to get <laughs> cock slapped <laughs> as you <laughs> were somersaulted over. It would just slide, slide <laughs> your face. Um, but like, when I hit thirty, I woke up with a backache, and that stayed forever. No, no, no. Uh, you you married. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but and but now like they don't tell you about things like when, when you're forty and you know, like the aches are still there. But what happens is it, it is just internally everything just stops working like it used to. Work. <laughs> like I'd, I'd 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 like you know I've always been weird for going to the toilet like you know. And yeah, I'm, I'm glad I'm, I'm 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 saying this on the podcast is as that you know I'm a good six poo deer. I know people who like go for like oh like two weeks, something. But now I kind of lick a baked potato and shit myself. <laughs> <laughs> you know, have a monster munch and like feel I have cramps. Wow, no, I've I've not got it that bad. Um, <sighs> I just can't eat. Many things like bread, yeah. um, but that's, just terrible that, indigestion. There's no other thing than just the indigestion. Indige- well, I always, I, I, I generally feel sick five times a day, like not five times a week. Like, Stop I'll, I'll licking feel... baked potatoes, then you fool. <laughs> but I don't think I'm ever going to truly. I know I can. Know, I know that like dairy, and I know that bread as a problem really i know for a fact that i should just be eating like um veggies and and and, and stuff like that but i just don't taste as good do they but, no, but the, the thing is i really like if, if i if you see a big big plate full of sort of lovely veggies and stuff you had to go oh it's amazing I think with it is I need vegetables to cook be cooked for me. <laughs> okay. Because okay. I can cook myself a lovely bacon sarnie. Yeah. And I can cook myself a lovely, you know. <laughs> I mean, uh, this is this is a digress about the when I used to be at, uh, I used to work at White Stuff. <laughs> we'd have a little. I'd be on the second floor and I used to, the, the third floor was a microwave. The third floor was a microwave, was or a there was a microwave on the third floor, because <laughs> that's some building or or a fucking huge microwave. I'm, I can't yeah, but work that one. What out. I used to do, I used to like sort of on my dinner, I used to like, like, get wraps and like uh, like um, tuna mayo and stuff like that. But when I was really hungry, I can really discovered um, I used to quickly run up there while we wrap up. Put what's it in the wrap, then just fill it full of mayonnaise. Absolute genius! <laughs> it was fucking amazing. It's lush as fuck. No, no, I, I'm not, I am absolutely uh, going to try that. Um, a good crisp sandwich can always be improved with cheese as well. Uh, well, um, crisp, yeah. Well, crisp sandwiches are like. I just don't think I would. I've I've been with Nikki for. Almost seventeen years. I've been married for five years. Tomorrow, if she was to say, 
I've also remember I've got two children by her. Um, if she was to say that she didn't like crisp sandwiches, I just don't think I could stay with her. Yeah, mate, I would have the taxi ordered for you, and there'd be a, a little bed for you <laughs> on the third bunk. House. On the third bunk um, yeah. uh, below the two other mice mm. um, in your little mask, your V for Vendetta mask. And I think I'd, I'd, it's like I, I, I'd, I'd get there, and Lindsay would be like, ah, it's been a month now, and uh, Matty. He's been living with us. He's not paying us any rent. He's not really doing anything, what, any cleaning. He's, he's not doing anything. He's just here, eating our food, you know, using our electricity. Yeah. And then every now and again, you have to go, yes, but... Yeah, crisp sandwich. Nikki doesn't like crisp sandwiches. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and then... And she'd go, mmm, yeah, understand. Yeah, yeah, No, she would, she would get it. Um, But then three months down the line, the cycle would start again, Um, and then we'd have to start training you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm not going to use like force or um, discipline. I'm just going to reprogram you in your sleep. Yeah. You, you'll never know about it. I'm going to make you our housemaid. Yeah. Are, are, are sandwiches the greatest food ever? Well, yes, because um, you could have what you perceive as being the greatest sandwich or greatest food ever. And then uh, slap some bread either side of it, or a wrap, or a bap, and then you've improved it, haven't you? So you've got the greatest meal, and then you've put it in some bread and improved it. So yes. When I was a kid, I um, well, when my mum basically we used to kind of me and my brother, we'd, we'd go for about a, a good loaf a day because I'd make like anything. That my mum made, I'd also have about five or six slices of bread. And I thought this is weird. Like, you know, like, you know, like lasagna and, and, and spaghetti bolognese and, and, and all that. And then I went to Scotland. Oh, yes. And discovered the pie maker. Oh, yes. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, I want to go there now. <laughs> I've got to book a train ticket and get myself up to the pie maker. What was your favourite thing from the pie maker? <laughs> It wasn't a pie. It was a tatty dog. <coughs> there we go. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. My mind was going, I hope Rick tells me the, the name of this thing that I really love. I can't remember <laughs> it. Yeah. If you've got a question tatty. about Amelia vet once, yeah. I'm your man. The tatty dog. The tatty the dog. The lasagna pie. Oh, was yes. Nice. It, and my fa- I think my favourite my, my favorite thing in, uh, in, in Scotland... And it's like obviously the stereotype and stuff like that, but it was the battered haggis. Oh, glorious! Yes, absolutely. Because you you just need one of them, and you can drink for twelve days. <laughs> <laughs> it just sits on your stomach, doesn't allow anything. No, nothing. None shall pass. Well, yeah. everything will pass with you. I, yeah, I had a, yeah, I had a battered Mars bar the other day. Oh, my glorious. my my uh, my again was not happy because it. We were just, it's one of them days where they like, sort of nothing's gone right in the house, you know. Mm, little son shitting himself everywhere. <laughs> Nikki's up to her eyeballs in snot and all over. Where are they? I said, Right, you get him in the bath. And uh, although it's dark outside, I'll take Hattie for a little walk. And, and Hattie loves the purple shop. It's not an actual purple shop, it's just a shop. Yeah, I don't the, think the shops sell a single colour. In fact, colour. it's got more yellow in it than purple. Right. The fucking dickhead. So your child is stupid, is that what you're saying? <laughs> but uh, that was shut, so we went to uh, the, um, the chip shop and I uh, said, so we'll just go and get a, get a can of Coke or, and, and get her uh, like a can of drink. And then I thought, oh, do you want some pudding? <laughs> <laughs> two about Mars bars. <laughs> and we had a batter mask on the way home. And I swear to God, Nikki, uh, my wife, was, 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 yeah, she, she, I thought she was going to kill me. Because <laughs> there's, there's things, the things that I give my daughter that are unhealthy, there's things that ha- Nikki gives Hattie that which are unhealthy, which are far more unhealthy, but because I've given her them. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's the way it works. When I worked out the other day, I said, oh, can we, should we just order a pizza? She went, I'm not ordering a pizza. 
because uh, I'm not giving a takeaway pizza. And then I googled the fact that because we have like Argos pizza, Argos, Argos, Argos pizzas. pizzas. <laughs> okay, twenty eight day the, guarantee. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. As the pizzas, and then when I, I when I as the pizzas and Tesco pizzas, I've got a, a far more got far more fat than a takeaway pizza. But okay. no, no, I'm wrong. Well, I'm afraid Nikki's wrong because you're wrong. <laughs> and you can't get garlic sauce, a good garlic sauce from Argos or Asda. You can't get a good garlic sauce in New York. I mean. Oh, no, you can't. You've got that weird watery shite, it's, it's, it? it's yogurt and uh, bum bum gravy. Yogurt and bum bum gravy. Uh, do you know what? I've never had that as a topping. I don't think I'm going to get that. Yeah. Also, also the Parmos are twelve quid. Oh dear, that's no good. You yeah. could get a sixteen-inch one here for eighteen quid. Uh, Shall I get one sent down to you? Nah, it's not going to work. <laughs> Although like... you have that nice little um, butcher shop on the in the um, the, the centre that does the uh, make your own Parmos. Okay. Yeah. That's just called the kitchen, isn't it? No, you've, is it? See, this is a podcast and basically it's just about me to, and you talking about Teesside. So far it is, yeah. yeah. Okay. You so if, if anyone wants to visit, we'll take you to the oh, the, the butchers in the, the shopping centre, which is probably no longer going to be there. Yeah. No, next near time you Wilkinson's. Come. Yeah, yeah. It, oh, one. are you talking Middlesbrough? No, no. The Te- Stockton uh, one. Stockton. Yeah, yeah. That that whole shopping centre is closing down. Mm. I know, yeah. Because the... the, the I used to go there for my. Uh, I used to get a chicken and bacon sandwich, <laughs> and uh, they used to give me. I used to put uh, American mustard on it. Nice. And uh, every day I'd go there, and then one day I said, it, she went, "Oh, oh, the, the American mustard was for uh, for another deal. We've just been giving it to you, but really, so we don't do it anymore." I went, oh, no worries. Yeah. And then when I went back the other day, they actually went across. And got me my own <laughs> um, American mustard Aww. just for me. Mew Mew's mustard. Yeah, Mew Mew's mustard. I used to go down there, sit in the sun, and listen to uh, Panic of the Disco on my phone. Brilliant. Not even headphones, just on your phone. Yeah. You chap. No, I used to add it. No, that's how it is. So, since we last met, what have you been up to? Mm. To be honest. I've not been up to a lot. Okay. Um, I've been watching. I tell you what, I've been, I've been watching the uh, Beatles documentary. Oh, okay. You, um, did you enjoy that? It's just, it, 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 it's amazing. It's well, Peter Jackson's found hundred and sixty odd hours. Of film. <laughs> I've heard this uh, number of amount of film he's um, found at three different numbers so far, and yours is the <laughs> highest. <laughs> It's good. Okay. So, yeah. so you recommend that then? That's what yeah. you've been up to? Yeah. Hello, listening to that. Say that again? You're listening to that. Right, you're listening to what? No, no. Okay, try, try a little more energy. Nah. 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 So have you nah. been up to anything else? I'm not, to be honest. I was, you just So since I've last seen you, you've just watched The Beatles. <laughs> I've just watched, I watched The Beatles. Um, obviously, I've, I've had a child. Ah, whatever. <laughs> well, I haven't had a child. Doesn't count. Yeah. Well, that's what I was... Um, uh, obviously, I was, I, was, I was hoping to sort of... Because like, obviously, I can't get on the daft hour with you as, as much as I can. I was going to try and um, send enough bits and bobs to you regarding sort of like the daft dad mm. what I um, what I go through daily as a parent because as as comedians I think that we are um, we tend to, to, to err on the side of surrealism Yes, and, and and sometimes we 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 deviate and we go this and that. You know what I mean? Our first show, it's news to me. Uh, we try to look at Sweden, but then we also try to sort of like 
give it a narrative and stuff like that. But we, are, you know, we like to break the fourth wall and stuff like that. Me, oh my, my, um, my, my, my greatest uh, comedy heroes are like you know Eddie Izzard and you know and uh, Mighty Boosh and all them sort of surreal stuff. Flights of fantasy, minds going wherever they can go. And he always try and write that uh, in the comedy uh, that, that I portray. And I really seriously cannot fucking write anything more surreal than what my fucking <laughs> children come out with. It's just, just bizarre. The other day, uh, my five-year-old daughter, I'm getting ready for work, and then she is getting ready to go to school. And every time she goes to school, we do a thing called a pop head off cuddle. So she runs to me, <laughs> okay. she squeezes my head, and I have to go, you pop my head off. She gives me a kiss, we go home. I mean, we go. We, she goes up her way, I go back. The other day, she, <laughs> she came to me, she went, Daddy, I went, I know, she went, would you like to smell my hand? Before I go home, before I go to school. What? <laughs> Would you like to smell my hand before I go to school? Why? No reason. <laughs> There's no reason she just wanted me to smell her and, hand. And did you smell her hand, though? I smelled her hand. It was just, just a hand. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah. It's like, I want to say, uh, the other one when it's just the, the way. So, obviously, discipline's a strange thing for me to actually do. But harriet wouldn't go to to sleep so um what, what what generally happens is i go to bed with her and i read her a few stories and then nikki gets in bed with her and and she goes to sleep but i said but this time she just wasn't going to sleep so i said i i right nikki nikki go downstairs i'm getting in bed with her and she's and, and, and i'm gonna make sure that she shuts the, shuts up <laughs> and goes to sleep. Anyway, she's 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 she's, dead. she's she's laughing. I said, Hattie, go to sleep. And she's giggling. Harriet, it's eight o'clock. It's half an hour when you're supposed to. You're half an hour like later than you're supposed to go to sleep. Go to sleep. Giggle, giggle, giggle. Hattie, go to sleep. She went. I just can't stop thinking about SpongeBob. <laughs> and then what happened? You started giggling. I started laughing about yeah. SpongeBob. Yeah. <laughs> and obviously Nikki walked in and went, Matty, get downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> me, me and Addy were both laughing about SpongeBob. Oh well, it's SpongeBob is very funny. <clears throat> yeah. And 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 you, what have you been doing? Oh, um, let's have a look. I I, I rolled with it. Hmm. I've done no Christmas shopping. Uh, I've tried drinking enough water. Uh, I conducted my imaginary full orchestra and support DJ slash pianist while I was at work. I had my first lot of pigs in blankets for the year and they were awful. Uh, I walked in the snow and ice. I lost a set of keys. I remembered that uh, counting is in French is absolutely insane. I've seen things, man. Uh, and I rigged a few elections. Mm. So, see, see yeah. some of them I think that you might have made up, and some of them things that I'm, I'm, I'm quite tr- interested is, is. Okay, I'll go from the obviously top. Obviously, the main one is the pig, pigs in blanket. Yeah, okay, the pigs, pigs in blanket. I, I went to uh, my local weather spoons last night uh, mm. with our good friend Vipond, and I got uh, some pigs in blankets. I got like a, a three platter thing, pick three things for the tenor or whatever, and one of them was pigs in blankets, and they were they were just awful. Just neither the Why pig nor the blanket was any good. It's it, it, it it's one of those food which is very very hard to get wrong. But they did. I don't know how they did it. I it, it can't have been. It's not always bad when you use cheap sausage because it's easy to chew, isn't it? It's done, half of mm. that chewing's done for you. Um, so it can't have been that. And the bacon. I don't know. It just it just didn't work together, and I'm very disappointed. I'm going to go and find Mr. Weatherspoons and complain. Mm. I think. I think it sausages are one of these things. We, 
but there's an advert that tells us that the the, the, the nation's favourite sausage, and I'm thinking, if the nation's favourite sausage is the sausage that I'm, that you're advertising, I just don't think our nation is doing very well. <laughs> you know, it's the um, basically sludge squirted in. Yeah, yeah, the, the skin, the half chewed like, ones. As a, yeah. yeah, well, I don't, I don't know what the sort of you know the. Um, Advertising rights for um, you know bits and bobs. What what we're allowed to say, Richmond, uh, but um, I'm, I'm <laughs> it's a, the, Richmond sausages just fucking shite. It's like smudge. Yeah, but maybe they are the nation's favourite by volume, as in uh, sales. Doesn't mean that our nation has taste. Yeah. It's because they're, they're they're an easy sausage. <laughs> um. Go on. I've heard people say Go that on. about you. <laughs> hey, da, 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 da. I, 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 when my daughter was born, um, me and my dad went for a, a breakfast, and we got a sausage from a place in the Shambles Market. And my dad hasn't top, stopped talking about the sausage for oh, wow five years. Oh, that sausage was great. Man. Can't remember that sausage. There are there are moments in life where you you can't get over how good that sausage was. Mm. There's definitely um, been some food moments in my life where you're like, that's the best of that particular mm. thing I've ever had. But then later on, you might have a better one of that. Not so long ago, I there's a, there's a place in New York called Roberta's that does um, ice cream and coffee and stuff like that. Like gelato. Gelato. And I got, and I got a little sort of hazelnut gelato and they come in a crispy crumb, crumb base with like sort of hazelnut gelato and then sort of like um, chocolate on top of it and uh, Jesus Christ it was amazing <laughs> what's the and difference that, between gelato and ice cream I don't think there's, there's, there's about no two difference. quid a scoop I think it's a bit of, it might be like the way it's whipped and, and, and gelato is quite is softer and and um, I don't know I'm not a, I'm not a hipster <laughs> yeah you are <laughs> I'm look, no I'm too poor to be a hipster <laughs> you know I, look, I may look like one but I'm too you know, when people go to me oh absolutely you have to get it on record because the record sounds amazing no it doesn't because like you know science and all the the industry <laughs> and, and everything is made sound so pure on digital that you can hear every little thing i don't want to listen to it on uh vinyl anymore because oh, okay. i also i also think that riding the penny that farther it's, it's not cool um have you tried it no, I haven't tried it. So yeah, don't be so dismissive no. of the penny farthing. I no. haven't either. I'm yeah. not. I'm not saying it is good. It might be absolutely terrible. It might be a proper ball shaker, but I think it will be right. Okay, on the next episode, we're going to try penny farthings live. Mm. What do you reckon? I just think the there's some things. It's kind of like the, the hipsters for me. Um, I kind of like the Amish. <laughs> you know, like the Amish have went so like you know, we only want to to use things like from like seventeen so and so so and so. It's non-powered things, isn't it? Yeah. I think. And hipsters have went. We only want to have, you know, we we want old things. Yeah, but. But is it, is it on a slide? Not a sliding scale, but does it move? So a hipster in twenty years, do they want? To only be using the iPhone 13. Well, yeah, because now with um, the um, what was that? Uh, the, the, the iPod, hmm. the iPod Classic is now gone for like hundreds of quid, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Like, go on. I found yeah. one of them. You found one. Yeah. What chucked in the back? That's how that's people what, find that's things, what, isn't what, it? That's what I find off my finger. Yeah, I've brought <laughs> you a present home, Nicky. Oh, what is it? Uh, it's a back thing. It's a, it's, it's a rock from the back. In fact, me and Morgan Fantastic found it. 
Ah, uh, okay. So we were we were, we were sat near at, at the York train station, and uh, I said, "What's that?" And I picked it up, and I said, "I said there's a there's a police station around there." I said, "We'll have a little walk. We'll give it in." And and we got drunk, so I didn't end up giving it the, giving it back. So I looked at a few things. I thought maybe I can go online and go on Facebook and like put a picture up on my Facebook of this is is this the, but I didn't realise that when you plug your the plug Apple stuff into <laughs> thing, it just wipes it, doesn't it? It yeah. Um yeah. So you So I went, I've got an iPod. So you you outright stole an iPod and wiped the evidence away. That's what mm-hmm. you're saying. From an item you found in the, in a beck. Glad I did it. Okay. I think it's about time for some news. Some news. Some news. I'll give you some news headlines and then I'll follow up with some stories and you can give me some news headlines or stories. So here's the here's the first one. Elon controls the skies. Mm-hmm. Boris Johnson wants your money. <coughs> and then panic, just fucking panic. Mm. That's the headlines. Would you like to hear mine? Yes, please. Uh, there's a new um, ending to, you know, Will Smith's legend. Okay. Uh, Paul Daniels. <laughs> is that the headline? Uh, yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing about that is there's actually no story. But, um, <laughs> um, Mummy in Peru. <laughs> okay. Um, government man. Go, yeah. So you, you've got yours. Yeah. Uh, also, it's illegal not to own a banjo. It, ah, ah, right. I did not know that one. That one's interesting. All right, I'll give you... I'll flesh out my, my headline a little bit. So, Elon mm. controls the skies. Fashion icon on Bond villain in waiting, Elon Musk controls more than a third of the world's satellites and undoubtedly will try to end us all. Mm. That is absolutely true. So, Boris Johnson wants your money. Boris thinks he's not being paid enough and says we should all chip in a few quid a week to help him live the hedonistic jelly fuckwit life that he has. The the lame leader of the opposition, Kia Tory Light Starmer, has been quoted as saying, Yeah, hey, uh, mate, I want some of that dosh too. I've got plenty of dirty things I want to do, cashish like me. Sir Ed Davey, the leader of Liberal Democrats, refused to comment as he was busy spanking his staff for not bowing upon arrival in his private villa in some posh twat area. So that was the mm. Boris Johnson one. So panic, just fucking panic. The world is ending. We're all going to die. It could be an asteroid. It could be a virus. It could be a man with the means and an idea. Don't bother going to work. It's pointless. Money can't buy you happiness, but it can rent you it for five minutes. Christmas is coming. I'm not ready. I'm 42 and I, and I don't know what I'm doing. Seriously, I've, I've no idea what I'm meant to do. Who writes these rules, man? And and that's my news. Are you all right, though, buddy? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Are you sure? Yeah, it's just the news, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's quite strange that we both sort of like uh, kind of had had, had 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 the government <laughs> as these news because I'm quite. I just don't know. I. <laughs> who 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 do we vote for? Well, just, uh, for, see, for a comedy know, show, um, but we just, we just yeah, no, absolutely. I, I, all my life, I've been a Labour kind of guy, but right now it's just like no, because the the genuinely is no difference. Well, I've been I, I've been gone from from well, I, I was always a Liberal Democrat um, after the uh, student loan debacle. I mm. changed to um, Labour. It's, it's, they literally can do anything they want and just, I, I suppose Boris Johnson goes, so what we're going to do now is, um, like, we're, we're going to dark crystal things, <laughs> so we're going to get your new baby, we're going to put him on a, on a, a machine, we're going to suck the essence from your baby, and then we're going to feed all of our uh, conservatives with the essence of your newborn baby. Everyone's going to go, oh, that's that's terrible. And he just goes, oh, immigrants. And then he goes, yeah, 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 you can do it. Yeah. 
Here's, Here's my the... baby. Here's my baby. Here's, Here's the baby, baby to stop the people yeah. getting in the boats. Remember, remember when um, people used to, uh, like, people going towards, you know, election would, would kiss the baby? Yeah. Uh, Boris Johnson can, can literally lick babies i think he sticks a straw it. straw straight in that soft spot in the soft spot. yeah <laughs> wriggles it around a bit slurps on some baby brains flings it back and then f- fucking slaps the mother yeah and it then was there, there there and then plays the I, fool yeah and then and then and then and then and then she goes oh well thank you thank you thank you for stopping polish people coming in <laughs> there, there you go <laughs> um i just uh it, 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 <laughs> when you, I, I was talking to someone the other day about it, and uh, they went, "Oh, yeah, but I bet you wouldn't like that job." Yeah, but I didn't go for it. <laughs> I knew I wasn't qualified. I'm not qualified to run the country because if I was qualified to run, the, well, if I you if are I as qualified as that went, though. Yeah, if someone went, "Oh, there you go, Matty. Can you?" Uh, can you rule the country? My first, you know, thing would be to go. Well, to be honest, I want adult soft play everywhere. Well, yeah, and yeah. what right-minded individual would refuse such a request? I mean, when you say everywhere, uh, do you mean that there is a facility available, um, mm. maybe every every mile, or do you mean? Like, we don't have concrete, we just have soft play. <laughs> We're gonna go down in a weird <laughs> we to, Mr. You know, Softy. We, we, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I mean that all children's soft play area is no longer children's soft play area, right? It is now adult. Soft okay, play area. could I think you need to extend that though because there isn't many soft play areas. I think you need more soft play areas, it has to be in that. Well, that, this is the reason why I'm not Prime Minister. Really. So, no, well, I can be your, I can help you. I can help you. Yeah. It's like, so during the <laughs> you day... You're my Dominic Cummins. I am. I definitely am. So during the day, we the, the soft play is for still the children, and then at 4.30 sharp... No, 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 no. Sorry, man. Oh, okay. Sorry. I, I don't want them to have the... Fun. You don't want the kids to have it? No. Little fucks don't deserve it, do they? Yeah. No, I see... Well, the I, children, they've got all their life to enjoy things. So they... Ah, oh, so they've got to look forward to it as an adult. Yeah. Right, okay. See, I thought what was going to happen is you were going to have it daytime for kids, evening for adults. Because as, as a child, I always thought that we, all the, the, the programs we watched uh, were for kids. And then when we went to bed, they showed the same programs, but they refilmed them for adults. <laughs> so, so it had more adult content in it. And I don't yeah. mean sexy time. I just mean like, they maybe said the word yeah. bastard or something. Like- Ed the Duck sucking off Andy Peters. Yeah, the <laughs> standard yeah. stuff. That's what I thought would yeah. would happen. I, uh, I was going to go for Gordon the Gopher with... Um, yeah, it's a cheap, Phil easy Scott, joke, I isn't it? that yeah. might be like, you know, with him. <laughs> oh, more, more power to him. <laughs> Funny. Um, but yeah, so soft play would be your first thing. Yeah, yeah maybe you shouldn't be in power. But... The- <laughs> that's like, like they're not the first one I, I might do some some proper things like you know you know maybe raising the um national pay wa- wage and you know giving uh, nurses uh, and police officers and firemen you know not just the money that they should deserve the sort of respect that they should deserve you know what i mean if yeah like going out on the street and clapping for them they yeah, fucking yeah, because, loved that didn't they yeah, yeah. that was helpful well, that that's the thing is that it's, it's, I don't know if it, what it's like in 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 Stockton, but uh, in York, um, if it, if you're a fireman or a nurse, you can just go to to a pub and go, and they'll give you a free pint. Oh, okay, you just clap. I'm going to try that. I'm quite good at clapping that, 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 because all the claps that everyone's given them, they can. Oh, they big... give them back that they they receive yeah, they put the it clap. In a big bank and stuff like that. Oh, the clap and bank. Then they, they can spend it what they want. Unfortunately, you know. I believe the uh, the the um, the bakery chain Couplins don't take part in that clapback scheme, though. They, uh, no, they, they, they they pulled out little bastards. Yeah. Also, the the weird thing is when um, if a nurse goes past a homeless people and, and just claps at him. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, she's trying to give him some 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 claps back, and apparently he can't spend that. No, uh, as a homeless person, um, yeah. you you don't have an address to to register the clapbacks at, yeah. so it's just wasted. So don't clap at the homeless. Oh God, um, yeah, I, uh, th- this is probably something that we should maybe uh, if if you if if you want to do some editing and stuff like that and some some advertisement, I think. Don't clap at the homeless. Don't. Yeah, it's. Um, I'm putting it out there now. This is a public service announcement. Do not clap at or towards or for the homeless. They because, don't. It's no good yeah. to them. It might anger them. Just don't. Yeah. J- just have a little chat with them instead. That's fine. Yeah. It's 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 it, it's only nurses that uh, can spend it, the claps. Yeah. N- nurses fire. Doctors don't get it because. Um, Doctors don't care. No. Um, it's just the nurses. Because they're all rich. Doctors apparently. Every single one of them. Um, yeah. So there you go. Have you got anything that you like or dislike? Hold on, hold on. We've got a jingle for this. Dislike oh, yeah. of the week. There you go. I'm, I'm have to go through my uh, bits and bobs. Well, whilst you're looking through your bits and bobs, I've got both. I've got. A like and a dislike. So my like is I like listening to music on our headphones, but loud, like too loud. So loud that your phone tells you, fucking stop that. Yeah. That's going to hurt your ears. That's when music is at its best, when you're getting a warning for how loud it is. And I don't care what genre it is, the louder, the better. Uh, if your ears start bleeding, I take no responsibility but that's how I like to listen to music. I've started doing it at work. I'm not really meant to because I work with machinery and stuff like that. But I've put my headphones on and I'm, I, I have I dance and sing to myself and get quite surprised when someone touches me on the shoulder to get my attention. <laughs> I, yeah. that, I must admit that that's very much one of my likes. But also, have you ever got a pair of headphones which are like properly made, like? You know they will sort of like that bassy, boom, yeah, boom, and you and you're loving it and everything's sort of really deep and stuff like that. And then they they break and you get something else and then it's not the same. You put another one and you you turn it up and it basically sounds like you're listening to fucking ACDC in a biscuit tin. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. What you need to do is take that option off, the mm. biscuit tin option. It's uh... no because. It, all so, all Sony um, phones and tablets and stuff like that have the biscuit tin. Oh, is it so just can, a pre-done thing? It just that's it is. Oh, bloody yeah, hell, it's Sony! Jelly bean and and, and Android, the biscuit tin. Yeah, silly bastards. I, not, I have um, a pair of uh, headphones that they sort of um, Bluetooth in my phone and uh, on my on my laptop. Sorry, and and, and it's amazing. But sometimes when I have to charge them up, mm. I have to use the plug-in thing, and it is it it's just shit. So, <laughs> I know what you like. Yeah, but it makes me it, it it makes me actually sad. That's the problem. Oh, it makes me really sort of like I don't want to live anymore. <laughs> that's a bit maybe, much. Maybe, maybe that's kind of what happens. Okay. Um, so, uh, for the sake of your mental health get good headphones well I'm, these one these ones are lovely that i've got now good i'm that glad you, that you finally told me how to listen to things to do <laughs> you plug them in huh? you plug them in <laughs> and then you got that little thing and you click that and it goes yeah you can listen to music now. yeah yeah go. that's the music so that was my like loud music with good headphones i've also got a dislike and my dislike was trying to get a fucking dentist appointment Oh my goodness. Mm. So I had a, a tooth crack in half um, on Tuesday. Come and I had such... I'm surprised I didn't pass out with how high my blood pressure got of trying to get a dentist appointment. I finally got a, uh emergency appointment, but they won't do anything other than give me some antibiotics because they say it's infected. But I can't get an appointment because my dentist has kicked me off the system because I haven't used it during a pandemic strangely that i couldn't fucking use it uh so now my only option is to pay 180 pounds to go private to get a tooth removed because there are no nhs dentists in this area taking on new patients yeah 
No, no, it, it, I, so I, I was eating a toffee. That was what got me. <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> really. Yep, a fucking toffee <laughs> pulled off half of the front of my tooth. Yeah, and I, I, at the back, it, it, it pulled a bit out. So I, I've been there a few times. So the same, the same dentist I've been to all my life, and um, because it's at the front of my tooth, so it's not because it's not decay. It's um, it's probably something to do with um, my, my Tourette's and my hmm. <laughs> causing it to sort of like I think. So the bunged it, and then it came out. The bunged it, and I thought, well, I'm sick of going to back to um, Stockton uh, to go to the tennis. So I went to um, Ron Roddy and went, "Hi there," and I said, um, "I'm just w- would like to um, register uh, for the dentist." And I, I thought I said to the woman at the reception, "Hello, I'd, I'd like to rece- to to, <laughs> to register for the dentist." What I must have said is. Hi, can I fuck your dog? Ah, oh, that old because mistake. That's what she looked at me like. Like she just like really looked at me like I'd said the worst thing in the world. Like I just wanted to just kind of just. <laughs> How dare you assume that that receptionist was there to help you? Yeah. You ignorant fuck. That yeah. is not what they. She was there for. She's there for. Nothing. Helping you? Oh, yeah. No, I don't know. Then she got. So that now one. I've got a hole in the back of my tooth that I've had for like five years. That I just no, it d- doesn't hurt me. It doesn't do anything. So you're just gonna have to smash it out, Rick, with a hammer. I Not think. Well, hammer. That, it might happen. It's gonna happen. I'm gonna wait till the infection goes because I don't. I'm not stupid. And then I'm gonna get um, uh, a pair of pliers and a hammer. It's the the tooth right top uh, left, right at the back, next to the uh, wisdom tooth. And the wisdom tooth is actually impacting on it. And it is the longest root of in my mouth. Um, so it's the most difficult to take out. So when I get the pliers, I imagine I'll be in a lot of fucking pain. Mm. <laughs> I'll just get pissed. It'll be fine. So that was my like and dislike. What have you got? So there's a few uh, dislikes more, more, more than likes. All right, let's play this then. Dislike of the week. So you know that YouTube guy, or uh, girl. Um, uh, that YouTube guy, girl. I don't. You know all of them. All of the guy girls. All of the YouTube, all of the guys <laughs> and girls on YouTube, TikTok, uh, Instagram, and stuff. I just, I just can't understand. I can't understand the mental ability of, of, of watching something and going i'm gonna do that but i'm gonna do exactly the same okay you know, how do you mean TikTok, this, 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 this oh TikTok the, things it's and... the tiktok between, uh, right i understand that so someone does a dance to a song and then the next yeah. person does the same dance to the same song but maybe gets the nana involved yeah well the, no no they don't get they don't do anything like there, there was a lad who was had had a, a, a like a TV screen and he was like doing things to the TV screen at exactly the same time and it would like knock someone over or oh yeah yeah spill something and then there was loads of people doing exactly the same as in but getting thousands more views because they were handsome or they, <laughs> it, it, it just there's it, I think like I said we've always prided ourselves on individual you know we we tend to we, we don't use anyone else's music really we don't do it we, but they just steal everything and i just don't like it we spoke to mike who's just bought two kilograms of sliced unsmoked back bacon for only five quid what do you think of that mike friggin hell i'm having a good day went to get me sunday dinner from the corner shop and she's closing down that's a lot of bacon that <laughs> Huggies, nappies. Christmas jumpers. <laughs> okay, what's your problem with Christmas jumper? Because Christmas jumpers, jumpers have been hijacked by lads. Like, ooh, lads. Oh, okay. okay. And they go out in the Christmas jumpers and they go, ooh, and, and then they sort of like, I think it's all fun and, 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 and Christmas jumpers 
by themselves are great. I've got a lovely Christmas jumper, which is a deer, and it, and it lights up. But you see these sort of lads, the same knobheads that go out every week, being knobheads, now they just put a Christmas jumper in. And it's quite... If you've been ever been beat up, it's horrible. But if you've ever been beat up, and the first, the last thing you remember is a flashing Santa, <laughs> just 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 in the end. So I, just think, yeah. I think I think your problem here is is the knobheads, not necessarily the jumper. No, but that, I have no idea what. It's only in the last ten years that like. All these sort of lads go out and they're sort of like, Bruh. okay, we'll go for the like. Okay, what do you like then? Chaz and Dave. <laughs> I, I love him. I've been watching know, too much. I Chaz know and Dave. very little about Chaz and Dave, um, as in I haven't listened to much, to be honest with you. There's a few songs that uh, most people know, like Gertrude and Snoo Loopy and, and Bits and Bobs. There's one song that is now deemed politically incorrect which is called rabbit which is one of the most favorite songs okay why is why why is that because it goes incorrect? like this you've got a oh, beautiful face it's about a woman talking too much yeah rabbit right. rabbit you talk too much oh, okay okay uh, yeah. um yeah but they also do like around this time the, there's there's a video on YouTube where it's Chaz and Dave's Christmas thing. And it's just also Christmas thing. And it's just like loads of people in the pub going, yeah, and they're all sort of like having a laugh and stuff like that. And it's great. And what it makes me sad about it is because a, if you look, um, if you if you go on YouTube, you can find a lot of things like this. Like um, there's one with um, Phil Lynott from Thin Lizzy with Chaz uh, from. Uh, Jen and Dave, um, who else is there? Uh, Roy Wood from Wizard, and they're all just having a laugh, and everyone's in the pubs behind him and 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 stuff like that, and it's, it's all fun. I just I can't imagine that happening nowadays with sort of like <laughs> in all bar one. <laughs> Are all just... of the songs relatively novelty then? Yeah, they all but... on the lighter side. Mm. But the thing about Chaz and Dave is. They are all that they both of them are exceptional musicians that played in like seventies rock bands and stuff like that. And in fact, um this might be a rumour, but I'm I'm pretty sure it's quite true that uh, is Dave uh was a bass because the the, the, oh, the both um uh multi instrumental instrumental <laughs> into what a mental yeah, um, so he was playing um, in 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 America, and he played on this uh, like sort of album, this this rock album, a funk album, and uh, in like two thousand and one, he um, got some royalty checks, and he was going, "What's this royal? What's this for? What's I, I don't know." What's Apparently, a, a young rapper's taken a sample of your bass from this thing, and it is boom, ba boom. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> and uh, it was Slim Shady. Oh wow! So he's like, like they say, he he was like getting loads and loads of dosh. From Amazing. Him, which is quite strange considering usually when it's uh, like songs, generally the person who writes the song. Because uh, I know when Puff Daddy took. Um, The police song. He only used oh, the yeah. guitar, the, the guitar, but but bit, but Sting got the royalties for it, even though Sting didn't do the guitar bit. But did, was he the owner of the, um, the rights to it? Probably. If he's the producer and mm. all that kind of palaver, there are, yeah, people can get it even if they didn't write it. It's a bit, mm. a bit odd. There's another dislike. Go on then. Passwords. Oh fuck passwords! Fuck that, them to Hades. That 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 say this is not the right password. You've forgotten your password. Please re-enter your password, and please re-enter a new password. And it says the password can't be the same as password. your previous password. Yeah, <laughs> you can't. You can't. Fucking assholes! Yeah, passwords are awful bastards. 
Like, there's just you need it for everything. That we we are old, by the way. You know that, don't you? Yeah. Complaining about technology and passwords, but yeah, that is just awful. It's the amount you've got to you're meant to remember, and they have to be unique, and you have to have um, special characters in them, and it can't be whatever. It's like just fucking let me in. Dot com should be your password for everything. But it te- when it tells you like, oh, you, oh, you, you haven't done your password right. What? My password? <laughs> you haven't done it right. How dare yeah, but, you? But 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 it's my way. It, it, it's me. You haven't you haven't put uh, enough things in there. But yeah, but it's it, it, and then you shout at the uh, computer. And the computer goes to you. I'm not. I'm only saying. Just saying, mate. I'm just saying. Yeah. And then you have a big, long, massive, quiet spell where the computer won't speak to you. <laughs> and then you have to go sort of like, I'm sorry, and you sort of nudge it, nudge the computer with your foot. And then, and then the, the computer looks at you and he goes, oh. and he goes, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I just didn't mean to. Just you said I wanted to just put. M I U M I U. You want you want me to put a, an asterisk in it, and I don't want to put an asterisk in it. And then and then 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 it's all right, and you cuddle and. But the problem is, the computer was right all along, and you've got to put the asterisk in. Mm. Yeah. A capital letter and a, and a, and a letter and, and a number and a number. Yeah. And and um, you have to slice slice a teeny bit of your thumb off. Yeah, and, and feed it into the disk drive. But we don't have disk drives anymore. So you've got to put it into a USB stick and then put it in the hole. But then you've got it the wrong way around twice. How can you get it the wrong way around twice? You spun it round and it should be right this time. But it's not. It's still fucking wrong. The The USB drive has swapped itself round whilst you're trying to stick it in. Cunt mm. in computers. Turn them off. Burn them. <laughs> yeah. So uh, is that all your likes and dislikes? Did you have any likes? Um, Chaz and Dave. <laughs> oh, Chaz and Dave. You like Chaz and Dave. Okay, I think well, there's it's There's about... lots of stuff I like. No, no, it's too late now. Um, I think it's about time we wrap this up. What we normally do at this point is we would tell you the social media um, platforms to get hold of us on. Uh, and that's something Morgan does. Uh, and I mm. don't know them. So I've got some new ones. We've got Origami Slam, which is where you fold up uh, your message uh, to us and slap us in the face with it. So that's the origami slam. Mm-hmm. You've got cheese grinder. So you grind up any dry foot skin and nail clippings and put it on your partner's food. Uh, it's not a social media thing. It's just something to do. And you've got Mar- mattberry.com. So you just find Matt Berry and ask him, uh, find us and relay the message. So that's the, <sighs> they are the best ways to get hold of us here at the Daft Hour. I think... I don't, I, is, I think is Matt Berry still doing that for us? Yeah, no, he's still... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I still pay him in... Um, Toffee pennies from Quality Street, but he doesn't like the ones from this year. He always likes the previous year. He's quite he likes the vintage ones, but to him, vintage is just last year. He's a bit of a mm. fool, but yeah, he's still doing it for us. He's he's a hipster. He's, he's, he's he likes. He uh, is a hipster. He, he rides a penny farthing. He does. Which is good, you know, which is good thing because they're called. Oh, we need to name the show. Um, so I've I've highlighted a couple of things. I think it could be called. I'll let you. Uh, decide. The first one was yeah. uh, lick a baked potato and shit myself. Uh, and the next one was uh, yogurt and bum bum gravy. So they were the two options I've went with. I don't like any of them. Uh, do you have a better name? Um, well, I was I was gonna Grimmer. I, I was gonna do the um, your, your new um, jingle. Oh, go on then. Do do our new jingle then. Let's hear this. Your new jingle. Let's hear this then. Right, let me just... Can you hear? Yes, I can hear. Right, you right. ready? I'm, I this am. This is the Daft Hour New Jingle. This is the Daft Hour New Jingle 2021. Nearly the end. What's the thing? Um, I th- yeah. Did it start strong? I think it went a bit like down at the end. It, um, yeah, 
Do, it needs some lyrics. Try again. Still no lyri- lyrics. Yeah. Well, you didn't add, I thought you were going to add the lyrics. No, no, no. I want live lyrics. Try again. The da, 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 da. I will absolutely use that as the opening for the next show. <laughs> Thank you very much. Don't, um, don't tell it. Don't tell Phil. No, I, no, I won't. Just uh, use that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I have been the artist formerly known as, and you have been either Godzuki reference, Captain Laserbeam the third, Dalton Fox, Mr. Ribbons, Mew Mew MC, Scatmat, the blonde one, the man who introduced me to Campbell's meatballs just moments after someone shot at me with an air rifle. Yeah, that was oh, nice. Maddie. Oh, Maddie. Enjoyed that. All right, bye. stay bye. daft then. Bye. Bye, 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 bye.